Right. You're not going to please everybody. There's no right, part right, of right. everybody loves. You know what I'm saying? And and something else too, to share with you, just like a little psychology that, that we go through as artists, is when you're working on a song, pay very be, pay very close attention to when you first start working on the song and take note of, of how you feel the emotion, like the excitement, man. the uh, approval of what you're doing. Like, man, this right here. This is it. Fire. Super yeah. hot. <laughs> yeah. But then as you continue to work and spend more time on it, something's going to happen. You're going to lose what you just had in the beginning because mm-hmm. you're losing that fresh perspective. After a while, it's going to become old to you. It's going to become very familiar. It's no longer new. And mm-hmm. we go through anything, if it's like you know, a new gadget or toy or whatever it is, something you're looking forward to and you can't wait and the anticipation is high and you're excited in the beginning. And then after that excitement, is you're used to it. It's normal now. Man. Kind of the mundaneness of it kind of sets in. And that's something to always keep in mind, too, is we're working on music that at first we have this fresh perspective. And then the more and more we listen to it, the hours and hours working on it, we're going to eventually lose it. And then what we will do a lot of times is change stuff to try to get that fresh perspective back. And then guess what? After you work on that for more uh, more time, it's probably going to get tired of it again. You probably gonna keep mm-hmm. on changing. It. So at some point, like I said, you just got to know when it's good enough. You have your own standards that you're holding yourself to. Mm. Keep it. Everybody's not going to like it. It's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And if you're unique, if you're really unique, definitely not for everybody. Right. If you're not just trying to, you know, be trendy or whatever, like if you can yourself, hey, just like life. You don't like every person, do you, that you come across every day? Like yeah, every people, person. People not something you want to fight them over for Thanksgiving. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't yeah. getting no turkey. Like, straight up. No, you know, no shade, but it just ain't going to happen. It's just that balance. It's just, that's, that's really what I got to say about all that. It's just balance. You want to balance the, the workflow, you know, like working hard on something, but also you want to balance productivity as far as knowing, knowing when to cut it off and say, I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah. Um, hey. And that's what I'm learning. Definitely learning. Because I like recently I went to the studio in Durham. And so like we did like three songs in like two days. And like so I was watching a documentary uh when Big Sean was working on uh, Dark Sky Paradise and how he was talking about um on one song, you know, he he changed probably changed the drum on it like like fifty he had like fifteen bounce versions of like this one song. And then they end up sticking with just the first version. So it's just like they do the same thing to Michael Jackson beat it. The same. Yeah, thing. yeah. I was, I was, I, was, I, re- I heard that uh, about that. It's just crazy, man. And so now I'm at a point place where I'm trying to like, okay, well, I don't particularly love, you know, uh, like I it was this one song in particular I'm working with, working on. It's just like I love the second verse, but it's the beginning half of the first verse that I don't particularly love. But the rest of the song in itself is complete and it's finished. But it's just like and that and that messes with me. But when I let somebody else hear it, they're like, Oh, I love you, Jojo Sai, yo, la la la. So it's just like, eh. And then I'm like, eh, I appreciate it, but it's like, eh, I don't know. So <laughs> I'm definitely trying to like understand it to when to let things uh just be and, and just appreciate appreciating the the little quirks and things of that sort, man. So 